today we discuss uh, the very important topic of the, uh, sorry, very important topic of the power system uh, that is a fuse uh, fuse is the device which we can replace instead of the circuit breaker uh, and uh, the fuse is very popular in a uh, local electrical uh, circuit installation so it is very important topic to understand what is the uh, meaning what is the meaning of that fuse uh, the fuse is a very short uh, fuse is a very short piece of electrical circuit uh, which install in electrical circuit in a series and uh, when uh, when see in series the uh, fuse is installed at the time of abnormal condition it uh, disconnect the uh, load from the electrical supply so the fuse is a very uh, cheapest uh, device uh, therefore it is uh, generally available in the local market so uh, what are the advantages of fuses are first advantage is it is a very cheap in cost therefore uh, available in the local market and anyone can purchase uh, to install it in the elect or domestic electrical supply to protect our electrical devices from short circuit or the abnormal condition therefore everyone can install because the cost of the fuse is very cheap after that uh, this fuse is easily available in the market uh, in the local market uh, this is the most important advantages of fuse after that uh, during the operation of fuse no any kind of noise or no any kind of uh, smoke is uh, produced so the operation of the fuse is very uh, is very silent therefore no any kind any kind of uh, uh, noise distortion or smoke distortion is produced by fuse next uh, for the operation of time that means when any kind of distortion or any kind of abnormal condition is produced at that time uh, the operation of fuse is, uh, is uh, happens in very short time that means minimum time required for the operation these are the main advantages of fuses because of that everyone uses the fuse because this is a very important advantage after that uh, some disadvantages also occur in fuses but uh, so uh, let us uh, focus on that disadvantages first disadvantage uh, after every operation we have to replace the fuse link for to replace this fuse link we we require uh, time so the time required for the rewiring is the main disadvantage of uh, uh, fuse uh, because uh, for the uh, quick operation or the for the sensitive loads uh, that uh, times uh, produces uh, some types of uh, losses so time required for the wiring is the main disadvantage after that in the interruption uh, characteristics of the fuse is not uh, successfully interrupted because of that because of that uh, we can uh, we cannot uh, level on the fuse after that the main disadvantage of disadvantage of fuse is that the risk of fire is more in case of fuse these three are the main disadvantages of the fuse now we focus on the characteristics of fuse there are some uh, characteristics of fuse uh, the first characteristic is that the fuse having very very low melting point uh, in the fuse uh, we used uh, fuse link like zinc uh, tin alloy uh, tin uh, lead or tin lead alloy the melting point of these fuse links or conductor is very low after that the conductivity of the fuse link or the fuse is very high this is the main advantage uh, because of that we uh, use uh, fuse in the domestic 
erected by him. After that, the third disadvantages of fuse is that it is free from deterioration from the oxidation. It is also very uh, important characteristics of the fuse. And the last characteristics of the fuse, it is a very uh, important characteristics because the cost of the fuse is very cheap. That means it is available in low cost in low market, uh, in the local market. Therefore, uh, uh, in the domestic market, the fuse is very popular for the uh, electricity interruption. These are the four characteristics of the fuse. Then, which type of material is used for the fuse link? It is a very uh, popular question in competitive exam also. For the material, use lead, zinc, and tin and lead alloy. We can use tin and lead alloy. Uh, whenever we use tin and lead alloy, the percentage of alloy is uh, we have to use tin 37% and uh, lead 37% and lead 63%. This is the composition of the lead in alloy. We have to use 30%, 37% tin and 63% lead. This is the combination, this is the composition of lead and tin alloy. So, so important three materials are used as a uh, as a fuse link or the uh, or the uh, link conductor that is lead, second zinc, third tin and lead and tin alloy. These materials we use as a fuse link. Okay. Now. Uh, we, uh, let us consider one graph. This graph shows the important terms of the fuse. We have to draw graph of time versus current. Time versus current. Here we draw in the graph of time versus current. Uh, here we show that uh, this point is called as cutoff current. Here the fuse is actually made, and uh, at that point where the fuse is actually made is called as cutoff current. In the cutoff current, uh, there are two parts. First part is called as pre arsing time and the second part is called as arsing time that means it is the uh, two steps where the actual arsing is produced at this time the arsing start uh, start to produce and the time where the arsing start to produce this time is called as pre arsing time it is means it is actual the time before the arsing after that when the arsing is produced at this point, the cutoff point, the arsing is produced and this time is called as the time produced during the arsing. It is called as 
or sink tile and the total tile that means re or sink tile and or sink tile by this time is called as total tile of or sink this type is called as total time of or sink and the current uh, the remaining current shown by the dotted line is called as pulse electrical current called as a symmetrical current got it that is uh, this is a graph uh, time versus current here where at that point where the arcing is produced is called as cut off current the time required the time before the arcing is called as pre arcing time the time during the arcing is called as arcing time okay now important terms related to the current rating uh, the important terms related to the fuse first is current rating what is meant by current rating the current what is meant by current rating the current uh, the current at, at which uh, the current at, uh, the, it is a current which flow through the fuse without any interruption it's called as current rating after that fusing current it is the current at that point current uh, fuse get melt or fuse get blow off it's called as uh, fusing current next fusing factor what is my fusing factor fusing factor is the ratio of uh, current related current to the fusing current okay got it means fusing factor is the ratio of related current to the fusing current what is my related current or current rating the current which flows without any interruption or any abnormal condition it's called as current rating after that fusing current what is my fusing current fusing current is the current where the fuse get melt the current where at which the uh, at which the fuse get melt it's called as fusing current okay now what are the types of fuses there are there are uh, important two types of fuses first is low voltage fuse and second is high voltage fuse there are two types of fuses first is low voltage fuse and second is high voltage fuse here we consider only low voltage fuses so uh, so uh, this low voltage fuse is also divided into Two, uh, two sub types, three sub types. Uh, first is semi enclosed fuse, and third, second is HRC fuse. These are the important types of the uh, low voltage fuse. The first is semi enclosed fuse. The rating, current rating of the uh, this semi enclosed fuse is 500 ampere to the 500 ampere up to the 500 ampere. It can bear the or it can carry the current and voltage rating of this uh, semi enclosed fuse is uh, above 400 it can uh, carry the voltage okay this semi enclosed fuse uh, this semi enclosed fuse is also called as kit kat fuse uh, we know that this is a very popular name uh, this is called kit kat fuse or rewirable fuse because at uh, when the fuse get bent uh, we have to uh, replace the uh, wire or we have to replace the fuse conductor that uh, because of that it is called as rewirable fuse which fuse semi enclosed fuse okay semi enclosed fuse is divided into two uh, uh, the construction or um, uh, the appearance of this fuse is uh, divided into two sections first is base and another is a top or the fuse cartridge okay we know what first is a base and another is a top uh, the lower part of the the lower part is called as base which is mounted on the electrical panel okay which is mounted on the electrical panel and the base having two terminals one terminal is uh, live terminal which is which is connected with the live uh, live electrical supply and another terminal is connected with the load 
and the upper section of the revivable fuse is that is called as top section of the fuse cartridge where where also two terminals are connected and between the two terminals we have to connect the fuse link this fuse link is made generally made up of from lithium alloy and this type of construction is uh, totally uh, totally uh, produced by the uh, ceramic material and ceramic material and or the porcelain material uh, this porcelain this uh, type of fuse uh, is mounted on the electrical panel and the mounting of the panel is very easy handling of the panel handling of the fuse is very easy and uh, the operation is very easy uh, therefore this is a very popular electrical fuse uh, next is hrc fuse next type is hrc fuse the this hrc fuse is uh, called as high rupturing capacity fuse okay it is called as high rupturing capacity fuse uh, let us draw uh, let us withdraw the diagram of hrc fuse the outer section of the hrc fuse this is the outer section of hrc fuse it's called as fuse cartridge this outer section is called as fuse cartridge this outer section is generally made up from aluminium after that after that these two links is called as fuse links it's called as fuse links after that the fuse link there are two caps it's called as end caps this is called as end cap end cap these are generally made from bronze material silver and inside the uh, uh, fuse cartridge there is a tremendous amount of powder is filled powder is filled this powder is generally Uh, made from chalk or chalk generally made from chalk this chalk or dust powder or dust powder filled in the fuse cartridge at the time of melting of the fuse what happens melting of the fuse this fuse will get breaks and tremendous amount of r and fumes are generated this r and fumes are quench by the or are extinguished by this chalk powder okay but this is a very reliable uh, fuse uh, 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 this is a very reliable fuse because of that the use of this fuse is very uh, very popular but uh, this fuse having a uh, one important uh, limitation that is we have to uh, replace Uh, uh, we have to replace this fuse head after the every operation we have to replace and the replacement of the fuse is not uh, economical because of that generally uh, the semi enclosed or kitkat fuses 
this. Okay? I thought you had to understand this.